Yo, what is up world and welcome back to another FL Studio update video. We're at 20.8.4 and I uh, just got the notification a little while ago. There's a bunch of new updates, but I think I'm just going to talk about the new plugin, which is the fre frequency shifter. I think that's the thing that most people are going to be interested in. So yeah, I haven't spent a huge amount of time with this uh, plugin. I just got it, you know, a little while ago, but kind of like give you the rundown of what this is and it basically is a pitch shifter but it works a bit differently and i think the best way to explain that is just by showing you so i'm going to open up 3x oscillator i'll turn those two oscillators off i'll just punch in a note and let's reset this let's open up 3d eq2 so we can see what is going on make this a bit bigger so when we play this note it would help if it's in the mixer so when we play this note we see that it's about 330 Hertz give or take this thing is super sensitive so yeah about 330 Hertz so when we move this up it's going to shift the frequency accordingly to whatever we dial in here. So we were at 330 Hertz. Let's bump this up to about 20 Hertz. And this knob is also super sensitive. So 330 plus 20, that should put us at about 350 Hertz. And let's see if it did that. And as you can see, we're just about 350 Hertz. So basically, it's just moving the frequency according to whatever you um, dial in here. So let's just do another example. Why not? Um, like a 808 kick drum, that's probably around, I don't know, 50, 60 hertz, something like that. So let's reset this. Let's just punch that in. So we'll take a look at where we're peaking. So about 52. So again, let's bump this up to 20. And 20 plus 50, we should be around 70 hertz. And just about little more because we're actually at 20.5 hertz so yeah that's basically in a nutshell what this thing does um of course there are a lot of other parameters here um for you know fine tuning and different kind of effects um i guess i would kind of describe this as like a crude or almost like a dirty pitch shifter and i'll explain what i mean by that i think the easiest way would be with a vocal sample so let's just grab a vocal. I would like to introduce. I would like to. Let's throw that in the channel rack, and we'll open up the sampler. I would like to introduce. I would like to introduce. So that's what that sounds like, and we can pitch that up or down with the pitch uh, knob right here. We can give that a listen. I would like to introduce. Pitch it low. I would like to introduce. Not in the mixer right now. Okay. I would like to introduce. So as you can hear, it's a bit more, I guess you can say clean. And that's because it's the way it's pitching things up and down. It's using multiples of the original sample. And it's kind of keeping the integrity of the harmonics together. But all you really need to know is that it's, it's pretty much a clean uh, pitch transition. So we can give that one more listen. I would like to introduce. I would like to introduce. So let's reset that. So I, so we'll go into the frequency splitter. Let's throw that in the mixer. And we'll hear that it's a bit different. We're going to get more of a dissonant sound, more robotic and metallic. So let's just play that. I would like to introduce. 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 
so you can hear we're getting sounds that we weren't really able to get with the regular pitch shifter. I would like to introduce. I would like to introduce. I would like to introduce. Now we can change this to 20 kilohertz and that's going to give us a way bigger um, spectrum to work with work in so you can think of like the, the 20 hertz and the the 200 hertz option is more of like a fine tuning and the 20 kilohertz is like the full um fre fre frequency spectrum so let's try that i would like to introduce 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 so as you can hear we're getting a bunch of like cool sound and you can really get pretty wild with sound design with this so just to show some of the other uh features this thing has let's open up flex let's just get like a string I'll just write out a quick chord Okay, so once again, we can just take a listen to the frequency shifter. And of course, you can automate that, which is which is how I imagine most people would do this, especially if you're into like heavy electronic music, you're probably going to automate this quite often. But there's other things you can do, like this left and right um, band here. You can create like these really cool stereo oscillating effects. I think the closer we have it to zero, the more we should like get an oscillating effect. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else do we have here? The tempo knob uh, selection. Now this, um, it locks to your tempo. So it's basically the same thing, but as you go up and down, it would be multiples of whatever your tempo is. So let's set it pretty slow. So as you can hear, it's kind of syncing up with the tempo. So, I mean, that's another thing you can do. And the rest of the stuff, you have a ring modulator. Now, anytime you see like ring modulation on a synth or something, I, the easiest way to think of it is just like, it's going to sound more metallic. So yeah, that's basically what the ring modulation is. It just gives it like a metallic effect. Um, you can also side chain something. I, I believe it's only to the ring modulation. So you might be able to side chain a vocal or maybe a kick drum into this uh, frequency shifter in the ring modulation mode. And so let's go back into shifter. So you have these phase knobs uh, here. I think the this phase only works in tempo mode. Starting phase, I guess that's what it is. Yeah, start phase. And uh, probably won't even hear this. Yeah, and then you have this left and right phase. Also, the effect is very subtle. I can slightly hear the difference because I'm wearing headphones. But again, it's very subtle. And this feedback is basically just like a delay, um, like a delay knob, basically.
And as for mix and stereo, mix is just how much of the uh, plugin you want to use. This is completely off. And you can dial that in to 100%. And stereo is just fully um, separated left and right. And that's just zero, uh, basically a mono signal. And um, yeah, that's basically what this uh, plugin does. Um, I'm sure you can get really deep into this, but this is kind of like my first impressions, just taking a look at it. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this update and uh, this plugin, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.